you will at all times be courteous to court, counsel, litigants and witnesses, whilst maintaining moral courage and demonstrating your true independence as a member of the bar. I congratulate each one of you. I know I am joined by my brother and sister judges, masters and magistrates, and I congratulate you on behalf of your families, your communities and your country. You are all welcome to the bar and thus to the legal fraternity of Fiji. We have just had appointed an assistant minister to work in the Ministry of Women and Social Welfare. She has been assigned specific responsibilities for the disabled. Earlier, the Prime Minister referred to the need to see that no one is left behind as Fiji goes forward and develops. Section 42 of our Constitution specifically deals with the rights of persons with disabilities, acknowledges them, and empowers them. <coughs> the other morning I was listening to the relayed BBC Overseas Service on the radio. A Russian man was being interviewed about the Rio Paralympics. Russia had been disqualified from fielding any contestants. <coughs> He said he was at first only interested in the Olympics, but later through a friend became interested in the Paralympics. He said he was fascinated and amazed at how the athletes overcame their various difficulties and yet performed so well. There were two points of interest, how they overcame their individual disability, and secondly, how they managed to win their heat or contest. We remember with pride, joy, and amazement when the one-legged man from Nanragama approached the wire at the London Olympics before finally throwing away his crutches and hurling himself, God knows how, over the high wire to win gold in the high jump. That was the now Honorable Eliasa Delana, Assistant Minister of Youth and Sports. This time he was at the present games in Rio, handing over the medal.